We're from Novart. We're based out of North Vancouver, Canada. Um, we originated in pipe welding industry. We developed our own spool welding robot um, that was meant for introducing automation into open root pipe welding, which has always been struggling to get into that industry. From that, we then developed our own AI software for pipe welding, so it would be fully automated. And then now we're trying to push that AI software into the general industry, into six axis arm robots, not just pipe welding. And uh, I'm a welding technologist with Novark in the R&D department, so I help develop these products. You teach your rough points. Yeah. And then can it automatically weld from there? Right now, we have this control package where it's done manually with a, uh, an operator, but then you, we also have the AI option which can do it on the fly. When you say manually with an operator, does that mean it's gonna try to do its first weld and they have to control it via the, the remote? Exactly, yeah. So we have like joystick left, right, up, down, <laughs> and we can change wire feed speed, travel speed, start and stop you know, uh, skip to the next pass, change, uh, all, all the parameters are going to be changed from this pendant. Gotcha. And so the idea is that at the beginning, the operator would be doing it manually, but then uh, the AI could then pick up on what the operator is doing and then mimic them and then do it automatically for you. As the, as the robot's welding and the operator has, that, has the controller controlling the robot, the robot's also learning what manipulations that the operator's doing. Yeah. So that way the next weld is a better weld. Exactly. Yeah. So the AI would be tracking uh, the puddle and the joint and okay. seeing what uh, the operator is trying to do for their application because every application is different. Yep. Maybe they want to increase their travel speed. Maybe they just want to have a good big, like a big weld yep. and then are maintaining a certain puddle uh, volume. And then the AI is basically trying to figure out what it is that they want and then it will mimic what they're doing. After you give it, say, a good weld, yeah. it's now then looking at the weld itself to identify if that the actual end result is is how we want it to be. Exactly, yeah. and then it will try to mimic what the operator is doing to get that result that they're looking for. And so for the AI version, of, you said the AI version, like is that the AI version? Yeah. Or is there a part of this where you're gonna be able to set the start and end point and then the AI just... If they're running one application and it's the same joint or type seam, and because um, really what we're, the AI is looking at is a very small image, and so a T-joint is a T-joint, doesn't matter the application. Yep. And so then we train the AI on our side to get it to what you want, and then it can just run on its own. Gotcha. So if you, like let's say for instance, if you had multiple different parts, but they both they all had like the same like weld specifications as far as like how wide the weld needed yeah. to be and everything that transfers over very right. easily yeah. it's only if you need to change like you know how much width is there or how many passes or something yeah. along those lines so if you're running like you know 100 different t-joints but they're all t-joints and they all need to be you know six mil fillet or something and then we train the ai on that application and that specification yeah. And then when the AI, we train it on our side and then we implement it into your system. And then we just, the AI will just make adaption on the, adapt on the fly. It'll change all of the parameters, wire feed, travel speed, seam adjustment and stick out. So it'll try to keep everything consistent and keep that puddle the consistent throughout. We're kind of trying to mimic what a welder does is that the welder, you know, is looking at when it's doing it manually, he's looking at that puddle and he's trying to maintain the puddle. And what the robot's now trying to do, the AI is looking at the same thing. It's looking at the puddle and trying to maintain that puddle by adapting the weld parameters and travel speed and seam offsets. And so how does this robot interface, or how does the AI interface with the robot? So we have our own cabinet, and the cabinet is talking to both the power source and the controller okay. of the robot. So we're sending offsets to the controller and we're sending offsets to the power source because um, a lot of, really scout an example, in order to te change wire feed speed and like process parameters, yeah. you have to have taut positions. So we don't know when we're gonna be changing those parameters so we want to be able to change them between top positions. Yeah. So we're talking to the power source directly yeah. and then we're telling the power source when to change parameters. And then we're also sending offsets for the position and weave and you know velocity yeah, yeah, yeah. onto the robot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and that's important too, because like what a lot of people don't understand is like, whenever you're doing something like this, where it's a process that's like, I'll say on the fly type of process, yeah. you need to be able to change things and change them immediately. And you need all, you need the data to shift immediately. Exactly. Whereas like, if you try to do something like pass it to a PLC, then to the wire feeder or something like that, yeah. there's delays in just the handshaking between all the devices where by the time the wire feeder gets it, it's 200 milliseconds behind or yeah, exactly. 500 milliseconds behind. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So we're talking directly to the power source and the controller, and then we're looking at a, about a 50 millisecond feedback loop pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So guys, thank you for joining us at Automate 2024. Yeah. Todd, thank you very much for 
sharing uh, this technology with us and bringing it to the market. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you, man. Likewise.